Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. And if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. All right. Sun. Well, that's your energy. Could be dealing with another Leo. Six of Cups. This person really, really misses your um, very childlike, innocent, playful energy that you have. Uh, this person is really, really missing that here. For some of you, this person definitely sees you as someone who, you know, you don't behave or act your age and, and not like a very like trying to be picked up kind of a way. It's simply just how you are. But this person definitely is seeing you as a soulmate and they feel a strong connection with you and they do miss you. Wow, the sun and the moon. And right in between is the six of cups. This person is... Uh, they, they are seeing you go through... Uh, like they have put you through anxiety. They have put you through sleepless nights. And now this person feels like you are putting them through the same thing. So they have put you through sleepless nights and anxiety and now you are putting them through the same thing. For some of you, how you are doing this is simply by acting single, not giving to this connection, not showing them affection, not showing them that you care for them, you love them, giving your full attention to yourself, having other options because the nine of pentacles is the pre-empress energy. Okay, you can't see that. We have the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress energy. So this person definitely sees you as someone who's giving to yourself. The Queen of Pentacles definitely can, um, she can nurture anyone and everyone. But this Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles here is telling me that you are nurturing yourself here. Your priorities come first. You are much more conscious about the who you're giving your energy to. And that is what is making this person feel that you are putting them through that same sleepless nights and anxiety. You could have been dealing with someone who was very selfish and they would much rather be single and just uh, than be in a connection. Yes, they have uh, 333 there. Yes, they had feelings for you. They loved you, but they, were, they didn't want to be in a commitment. They were running away from commitment. So now this person feels like you're mirroring back that energy to them. Now you don't want to be in a commitment. Now you won't, don't want to give to them. Now you don't are you are not showing them love or affection or like you're not showing them that you care for them. So it's very possible this person did the same th thing to you in the past and now they are getting a taste of their own medicine or you are giving them a taste of their own medicine here. So now this person feels like you're not behaving in a very childlike way. So it's very possible in the past this person saw you as someone who is like you have this kid-like energy. So you are very innocent. You are easily trusting of people. And you might have easily trusted them as well. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, Page of Cups. This is definitely someone who is hating the silence between the both of you. They want to, they want a reunion. This for some of you, this person definitely wants to apologize to you as well. They know you deserve an apology. 
And somehow this person feels like with the wheel of fortune, how they feel with you, it's not a coincidence. This is a fated connection or there's something destined about, about this connection here. And if they want the if they want things to turn in their favor, because right now things are not in their favor, the tide is against them. So if they want things to turn in their favor, all they have to do is apologize to you and you know, it's almost like get you excited. That's what I'm getting with the page of cups and three of cups. Do something exciting, do something fun. Maybe a grand gesture. Maybe a very uh, lovey-dovey kind of um, surprise for you. You know, something that will like sweep you off your feet, sort of a thing. This, this is what this person feels like they need to do here. To get you back. Or to be back in your good graces. Yeah, the, the, this person is like, they feel like they know what what is happening here or they know what to do here. This is not someone who's feeling confused about what they should be exactly doing to get you back. They're not confused about it. Okay. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. For some of you, this person is definitely thinking of a grand gesture here. As I said that, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but for some of you, this person could be thinking of something grand. The Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, this person might write, you know, they might try to come back with a proposal, an actual proposal here, not even like... Um, small thing it's it's a big thing the ace of pentacles but this is someone who definitely sees the future of with you with you and they want a new beginning here but this person is there's a sort of overconfidence with this person that is what is a little bit off about this person there's a sort of overconfidence they know what they should be doing they know what what is exactly going to work on you what kind of offer what kind of what they have to say for it to actually work on you they they are just like in that energy of i know i know what i have to do but if they knew it already they shouldn't have done it they should have done it in the first place that's a sort of energy like it's, it's, it's something is off a little bit off about this person could be that overconfidence or that ego talking a lot but some of you this person really sees you as a solid investment a good investment that is going to pay like in the future it's going to make sense hmm I put it back and shuffled. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This is what the truly wants. It's like it's a very straightforward message here from this person. They want to have a new beginning. They want stability with you. Whatever this person didn't do in the past, however, this person was, you know, for some of you, this person was just simply lazy. They knew your word, they knew how much you mean to them, but they were still like, ah, I have enough time. Um, I'll do it when I want to. 
it's it's like it's it's like everything is already going good between the both of us yours are already mine or leo is already um pretty much invested in me leo cares about me too much so what do i need to worry about it's like they were very selfish or laid back and they were like um i don't have to worry about anything leo just wants me so i i, I can do whatever i want i think i have the freedom i'll be fine i'll get away with it i get i'll get away with not giving leo what they truly deserve or want or i'll give it when i want to leo is not going anywhere that's the kind of oh, overconfidence this person had let's see that yeah it's like now this person is realizing their overconfidence is not working you know you're not giving to this person or you um focusing on yourself not giving to this person or this connection as much as you used to it is a sort of a big blow to their ego or overconfidence 11 11 there bottom of the deck is king of swords two of pentacles tower this person exactly knows they exactly know why this breakup this separation happened or why you are behaving differently now they know that exactly and for some of you this is what i'm also getting this is not a dumb person you're dealing with this is not someone who didn't know what's going to happen they knew what's going to happen but at the same time they were still fumbling you they were still not being serious because they thought they had everything under their control with the king of swords we also the king of wands at the bottom of the deck so it's very possible for some of you we, you were very attracted to this person you know with the king of wands there was a lot of attraction a lot of passion between the both of you that's the reason why this person had this overconfidence here but again that energy of it's not like they didn't know what's going to happen they sort of knew but they still were lazy laid back or they simply were fumbling you because they knew they had you where they wanted you there is something oh, okay that cocky kind of confidence with this person which is very annoying uh, to read as an energy it's like i know what i'm doing i know what i can make happen or i know leo wants me this person could have been too confident in themselves or too full of themselves that leo wants me you know like it's a big deal leo wants me what more do i need to worry about or it's like it's almost like a bragging sort of a thing with this person this person could have been someone who used to brag that they have you like they have you all um wrapped what what's that phrase wrapped uh, up in their fingers or wrapped up in the finger that sort of a thing they had you where they wanted you so you're not going to leave or you're not going to go anywhere so the tower is always divine orchestration and the tower is pretty unexpected you don't see the tower coming that's the reason why this person didn't see this coming they didn't they thought they can keep doing whatever they're doing keep being whatever they're doing and things are just going to still work out fine as they are working out fine for them but the universe is watching and, the, and that's the reason why the tower is divine orchestration because the universe is seeing that unequal give and take the foundation is not strong the foundation is on shaky grounds for some of you this person uh, two of pentacles they might have juggled you with someone else like they had you where they wanted and because they already had you they can still look and have time they were buying time to look at someone else and that's the reason why this person was not offering you something stable or something big because they wanted to have that time that's why this person could have just kept you waiting and waiting and waiting king of wands king of swords for some of you it's very possible this person 
they're very charming they're good looking as well as they have a way with their words so it's like a double trouble sort of a thing i don't know why i got that word but that's the thing with this person that's the reason why they might have had that overconfidence because they know they have uh, like they're good looking charming at the same time they're intelligent and they can make things this person could have you could have gone crazy for this person for some of you, you were crazy about this person and this person totally just it was a big thing for this person okay Oh, yeah. What did I say? This person is going through sleepless nights and not really feeling good and anxiety and everything. So whatever they put you through, now you are putting them through the same stuff here. Whether you're doing it unknowingly or knowingly, it, it's very possible you just, you just feel like you need to give to yourself or you need to take care of yourself because this person is clearly not taking care of you. That's the reason why you could have just, you know, started taking care of yourself, started focusing less on, in the, on this connection, on this person. Because you didn't have that hidden agenda of, I want to give this, I want to treat this person the way they treated them. I, for some of you, might not have that. For some of you, it's simply like you need to take care of yourself. Maybe you need to look at other options because this person is not serious about you. That's all there was. No. Now they're all over the place, losing sleep, and uh, like falling apart. We did see the King of Swords and now we have the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this person is ready to walk away from whatever they were doing. So being selfish, being lazy or uh, still having you while still looking at, the, uh, looking at someone else to see who's the better person or who's the better choice for them. Whatever this person was doing, the escapist sort of a thing with this person, this person could have been, for some of you, I don't know what I'm getting with the Eight of Cups, this person could have threatened to leave. For some of you only, this person could have threatened to leave and you just, just to see how you react or how you respond to that. It's not a good thing. But yeah, for some of you, this person definitely played some sort of mind games here. Just to see how uh how it's gonna go with you it's almost like the more you the more you wanted this person to stay the more their confidence grew the more their ego grew For some of you, you know, eight of wands, magician, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. You know this person is trying to manifest you back. You know that. You know this person is desperate for you or they, they will try to manifest you back or they are trying to manifest you back or manifest a relationship here with you. You definitely see this person has someone who has the gift of the gab, someone who knows what to say when to say it, how to say it, exactly. You know, like, you know this person has that charm about them and they manifest whatever they want. So it's not like this person is, they have a false confidence, but that this is overconfidence. For some of you see this person as someone who is a bit of a flirt, someone who you know, when they want something, they will do anything and everything to have that. Nothing else matters. They will not uh, shy away. They will not make excuses. They will just go after it. 
So that's what the hint you might have taken from here. Like this person is definitely someone who goes after what they want without any excuses. So if they really wanted me, they would be trying to get get with me instead of just trying to make excuses about why they cannot give me a commitment or why they cannot be in a long-term commitment with me. It's like the energy of they're an adult and if they want to make a choice, they will make a choice. If they want to choose you, they will. You don't have to run after them trying to convince them that you are the better person or you, they should pick you. You, you shouldn't be have to doing that. Yeah, and three of swords. So yeah, for some of you, definitely another person. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You're not so sure about this person for some of you. Empress at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. See, the more you work on yourself, the more you work on your standards and on your worth and you know your worth, you know what you're bringing to the table, you know what you're offering, the less you are being attracted to this person. As for some of you, it's, it's very possible what has happened here is now that you're giving to yourself, nurturing, taking care of yourself, protecting yourself, putting yourself first, working on your standards, working on your on yourself here, you could be feeling less attracted to this person. You know, in, in hind, it's, it's that energy of in hindsight, you're like, I don't even know why I was chasing this person or why I was so desperate for this person. Because in hindsight, I, I can't really see that. I don't know why I got attracted. Or why I was behaving that crazy for this person. So for some of you, you're not so sure about this person with the seven of pentacles in reverse. For some of you might feel like you have invested in the wrong person or connection. Maybe instead of focusing on this person or investing in this person, you should have invested on your uh, in yourself here. That should have been the better decision or that's what you should have been doing. So yeah, for some of you, this is simply the reason you're not giving to this person anymore because you don't see the long term with this person. You don't. That, that's as simple. It has got nothing to do with trying to teach this person a lesson or trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. It's simply that you don't see the point of it. You don't see the point of having a long term with this person or you can even have a long term with this person. Like this person's laziness is like making, like you are in this energy of, well, this person is being lazy and they clearly don't understand my value. So yeah, whatever. So they were being lazy, now you are being lazy about this person. And by lazy, I don't, you know, like not being sure about this person. Like you are thinking, you're gonna think twice before putting in the work or energy into this connection. Because you know your value. You are showing compassion towards yourself. You're taking care of yourself emotionally, physically. Yeah, see, two of swords. You're closed off when it comes to this person. This is a very difficult decision for you, for some of you. You are making a tough choice, a tough decision here. It's like you were in a crossroads. Oh, the devil. So for some of you, it's very possible you're still attracted to this person, very attracted to this person. You still feel that attraction. That's the reason why this could be a difficult decision for you. All right. Okay, I'm going to keep that two of sorts. And that's the reason why you could be closed off because you realize that this person is very addictive. Like you get very addicted to this person. Now that you've distanced yourself from this person, you might be realizing that, that this person or this connection is very addictive and 
for no reason at all you were too crazy about this person or this person tried to get you hooked to their energy Five of Cups. Well, they are crying over spilled milk now. Feeling the loss, feeling the grief. Oh, yeah. No wonder I felt a off energy with this person here. Seven of Swords. What else? King of Swords. Oh, this is, this is not good. King of Swords, Seven of Swords is not good. See, this person is definitely not done with you. They will try something or the other to get your attention back to try to make sure that you are not moving on from them, you are not letting them go, you are not forgetting them. This person will try to do something here to make sure that you don't forget them, you don't forget their existence or you don't ignore them. But yeah, see, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, and this person's actions, well, they are not done here. They have some or the other plan they are hatching, some of some or the other this person is coming, like some plan they are coming up with. No wonder that with the King of Swords and the King of Wands, I got that energy of double trouble. So yeah, this person is going to create some trouble here. They are still up to something. And whatever that up to something is, it's not good. So you have, you know your worth now. You have your standards. Well, it's like seeking of sorts, queen of sorts. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini Aquarius. So somehow it's like this person that really wants their success here. They want to be successful in getting you back, having you back exactly where they had you. Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Judgment. You know, out of the goodness of your heart or out of the fact that you did really care for this person once upon a time, you might end up giving this person a chance just to see where this goes, just to see that if you still feel a connection with this person or if you still want to be with this person you might give this person a chance here for some of you okay i was trying to see what happens if you do give this person a chance they will probably put you back in a third party situation again they will resume their games once they have once they know that they have you what they want and with since we do have the knight of cups the nine of cups with the knight of cups here for some of you this person might try to love bomb you Trying to act unnecessarily charming, trying to be like, oh, you are my wish fulfillment. They have changed, they have become enlightened, they have realized their mistakes. Just to go back to doing whatever they were already doing. Right. Okay. I can't see those cards. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so bottom of the deck was uh, Narcissus love bombing, self absorbed, one sided. I already said with the Knight of Cups, this person might try to love bomb you. But yeah, for some of you, this was definitely one sided. This, this felt one sided. This, and yeah, se selfish, self absorbed. That's the same energy I'm getting. Yeah. For some of you, with time, you have realized like your headspace has been cleared and now you you might have realized for some of you that you're better off without this person what was yeah yeah you have realized the truth about this person you have had the clarity Can look at that yeah this is someone who's missing you they want to make new memories with you they are looking at your pictures they are waiting this person is waiting for the right time to approach you. And for some of you, this person is really trying to manifest you. So if you feel like you know this person is trying to manifest you, you're right about that. Right. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, look at that sleepless. Anxiety keeps me awake at night. My life has changed since I met you. I'm trying to figure out what this all means. I don't want to lose you. The thought of you not being with me really keeps me up at night. Yeah. The fact that they are losing you or they have lost you is what is really bothering this person. Sleepless nights and anxiety. Following your bliss. That's what you're doing. For some of you, you're following your bliss here. So do something that do something that you enjoy today. Mm. So the more this is that the nine of pentacles kind of energy. So the more you uh, do what you want to do, you follow your bliss, you follow your heart. The more this person is like feeling anxious. All right. Well, that's your reading, Leo. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.